Hi TPS families, this is Kate Hamernick and this is Growing in the Gardens with Global Gardens. So today I wanted to introduce compost in a bag. Most of us know what compost is. It's decaying um, organic matter that can be used as plant fertilizer. Um, it's known as black gold. Not all of us have compost bins. So I thought it would be fun to um, demonstrate how we can make compost in a um, smaller scale such as in a Ziploc bag. So what you'll need for your compost is about a tablespoon of water, a Ziploc bag, a straw. If you don't have a straw, that's okay. And we'll get to that. And then you're going to need carbon and nitrogen. So our carbon sources, or what we call in compost, our brown stuff is anything from newspaper to leaves, hay. And then our nitrogen sources usually come from our um, organic food scraps. So I have with me just some leaves from radishes and then some lettuce. Um, so, you know, instead of throwing it out, we're able to recycle and put it back into the earth, which is always, which should always be the goal. Um, and then you could also use grass clippings or coffee grounds as well. Okay, so while when we're making our compost in a bag, we wanna make sure it's about a two to one ratio of nitrogen to, or yeah, of nitrogen to carbon. So I'm gonna start ripping up all of my greens into super tiny pieces. Eventually it would all decompose, but this just kind of gets the process moving along a lot quicker. So I am going to just start ripping in super, super tiny pieces. And then all of the microorganisms um, don't have to work just as hard. I'm kind of giving them a little head start. And then as I'm ripping the pieces, I'm gonna go ahead and put them in my bag. If you add too much um, carbon, so if you add too much leaves and newspaper, then the um, decomposition just uh, starts slowing down if there's too much. That's why the ratio is extremely important. You could also use scissors and it might go by a lot quicker. With your newspaper, if you do use newspaper, you wanna make sure to avoid the colored ink as much as you can. So I'm gonna keep adding my greens and browns and trying to create that two to one ratio. You might have to play around with it a little bit.
So I put this much, you can keep going all the way to the top of the bag. In fact, I recommend that. Um, so we have our nitrogen and carbon, but there's two ingredients missing. That would be our tablespoon of water. And then this is where our straw comes in handy. I'm gonna zip the bag up. And then that straw is there because compost also needs air. So once you have your straw in, you have your nitrogen, carbon, and water um, for the, about a month or so, you can observe your compost. Um, you could put it in a sunny window. Just make sure that your compost doesn't dry out. If it starts to seem a little bit dry, add about a tablespoon of water and then eventually this will all break down into some beautiful brown compost. All right, I would love to see your creations. Thank you.